everyone, and welcome back to Stephanie Reacts to Once Upon a Time. Well, this is Season 4, Episode 23, Operation Mongoose, Part 2. Well, I just watched Part 1 two hours ago, or two and a half hours ago. I had to give my camera time to charge, because you can see in my other video, the camera only lasts an hour and 45. There's not enough time to do two reactions, like an intro, a reaction, then my end, my review and stuff, it won't last that long, so I've tried it before, the camera died halfway through a reaction, had to pause the reaction and charge the camera, then finish it off, so I've recharged the camera, and we're going on to straight on to part two, and you will see this. On a Thursday. Wait. Try to think. I missed Once Upon a Time Out in the Tuesday there. So that'll be episode 21. That's probably the episode 21 on a Thursday. Then episode 22 on the Tuesday. No. Episode 22 on a Thursday. Episode 23 on the Tuesday after of all. So everyone, let's jump into this and we'll see if Henry can save everyone actually. Because everyone's been banished to an alternate universe. And Isaac's trying to get Snow White to kill Henry to kill Regina. So like I said in the last video too, the roles have been reversed with everything. I mean Snow White I love her Queen outfit, I love it. So, let's jump into this and we'll see if, how Henry can save her, everyone and if Henry can get to Emma. Starting now. Regina, I'd like you to meet my fiance. This is Zelina. Everything's flipped, this must be Zelina's happy ending. We have to stop this wedding. Yeah. There were rumors once of a woman who called herself the savior. Snow White locked her up years ago. The prison she's in is in Manitou. Ah! And how is the newest member of our dear family? With any luck, he'll grow up to be just like dear old dad. <laughs> you didn't tell me we had a visitor? Name's Isaac. I was traveling through your village when your wife invited me in to slake my thirst. And not to be too picky, but the water tastes a little murky. Oh, I'll get some that's fresh from you well. Do you remember him still not? You didn't come here for the water. Perceptive in all worlds. Good. Yes. I came here to warn you. Don't remember. Your happiness is in danger. From what? A boy. He's on a mission to help the bandit, Regina. If he succeeds, everything you have will be destroyed. Not to mention what I have. All right, I'll go. But deep down, you know I'm right. You're not really a hero. And if you don't kill Regina and keep her from her happy ending, then everyone, including Belle, will know too. I know you'll make the right choice, Rumble. Uh, you always do. Throw the dark one in there. So who has the dark one? Where did all the dark one? Where was the boat in? That's the way to go. Ahoy! Is anyone here? Careful, boy. No one steps aboard the Jolly Rogers decks without an invitation from its captain first. Now you're down to see what I love you. Not here. 
Regina changed the bulb for her. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Where, where are you going? Sorry, can't risk that bum ticker of yours slowing me down. He's all yours, lady. Come back for me. I came back to make sure you weren't going to try to hurt anyone else. Oh, no, you don't understand. I only did that. I thought it was So, Will is looking after Roland. Perhaps I could take you for a walk in the moonlight? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> I didn't mean to kill you. Though, to be fair, I didn't have a heart. So it's my fault. What I think he needs to say is... Keep it from consuming the realms. He tethered it to a human soul that could be controlled with a dagger. Was Operation Mongoose Part 2. Wow. That ending with Emma becoming the Dark One. The dagger, Emma Swan. Oh my word. Your Rumpel's no longer the Dark One. Does this mean he'll have to try to take the Dark One out of her and he might have to try to recontain it in himself again? And is the apprentice guy dead? At home to try find Merlin, who's the wizard. I thought it would be Walt Disney or Mickey Mouse, because the walking broom episodes ago, we Rumplehead looking for the heart. That was a Mickey Mouse reference, like Fantasia. Then we heard the apprentice talking to Isaac about the other authors, like Walt, aka Walt Disney. So, uh, new Henry is the author of this book. <coughs> He's no longer got the quill. You can't even change that for writing. Emma Swan no longer becomes the Dark One. Dark One power is destroyed. So he could have done that. But he's no longer got the dagger anywhere. No, no longer got the quill. He recognises the power. That's what he says. Great power comes with great responsibility. And he doesn't want that, doesn't he? So he just snaps it up. Like Harry Potter thing. All this was like Harry Potter. It was too. We Isaac is saying to him, you choose, the one chooses you, no, the one chooses you, the quill chooses you, written for it. It's like Harry Potter, the one chooses the wizard. 
and at the end of Harry Potter, Harry got the Elder Wand, Henry got the Quill. Harry snapped the Elder Wand, Henry snapped the Quill. And as I said, it was like Harry Potter, wasn't it? We seen Lily being one of the Queen's guards. But we didn't see Maleficent or anything. So she must have been good somewhere. Mm. But we did see like, Emma remembering Henry who he was for some reason. And she says to Henry, maybe because that's why Rumpel wanted it, like maybe can make me forget you anything. Or forget my memories. But I'm thinking it's maybe because she was born in the Chanted Forest, but sent away to the real world. And she was brought up as an adult then. No, she remembers his adult stuff from the real world. That's why her memories had to be taken away of Henry, because she gave birth to him. Because I was thinking when Isaac says, there is no more saviour. Like, I was thinking about Emma never existed. If Snow White's the evil queen, a charming tough slave. So if Emma never existed, Henry shouldn't exist. So, a parallel world thing. And Henry's the eye of the storm. But it seems like Emma and Henry was the eye of the storm. It revolved around two of them remembering each other. Nobody else could remember. We saw Hook die. We saw Regina die. Uh, and poor Henry wanted to bring back his father. The prince told me can he? Uh, that is sad bits. But I bloody well loved the two parts together. Oh, that was brilliant. And I don't even know what season 5, episode 1 is called. I can't say, oh, is this? I can actually make look it up on Google. Actually, I might actually just say that right now. Once Upon a Time, season 5. Once Upon a Time was ordered on May 7th, 2015. Well, it's 2015 episode, so what was the first episode? You know, see, maybe guess what it's called. It's probably something to do with Emma, being the dark one. And I don't want to read the summary. I don't want to read the summary, because that'll give spoilers away. So I know what the episode's called. Ah, there. Episode 1, The Dark Swan. Right, The Dark Swan. Ah, because he's it's probably about Emma. It is, The Dark Swan. They showed you a picture of Emma. That spoiled it for me. The hair all slicked back in this thing. The black robe. So that's a wee bit of spoilers, but... The Dark Swan. Will Emma truly be evil? Rumpel's evil and a trickster. But, he still had goodness heart, even as the imp version of him. He didn't kill people. Well, he tortured a few people like Robin Hood, and Bell released Robin. But he tortured Robin, and <clears throat> he still had compassion and love for his own son. For Balfire and that. And he loved Mila until she and Alfred Hook. Not so Emma should have still some kind of compassion for Henry and her parents and stuff, maybe. And she Emma will have to try and get her hands on the dagger. Cause she doesn't they can control her, maybe. And if Zelina gets her hands on it, she'll cause havoc on the world. Not after the world with Storybrook. She will Ugh. I wonder if this is Emma being the Dark One until Season 7 now. Or is this her being the Dark One by maybe until the end of Season 5? Or maybe Season 6? So it would be good to see the difference between a male Dark One and a female Dark One. From Rumpel to Emma. Because Rumpel was the Dark One for four whole seasons. And a few hundred years before that in the Enchanted Forest. 
So he's been up for a long time. You know, it's, what is he? It would be like for Emma. That's just how she's attacked one. Well, she cast a curse. Will she kill people? Or whatever. I don't know. I doubt she'll stay my parents. What if they have a rain house? Or a rain cave? Or a rain castle? Or something in Storybrooke? She's the dark one. So she have ominous powers. So she can probably build a castle like that, snap. Or something where she wants to live. So, everyone. Because there was a brilliant episode that was the two-parter. The longest, and then I ceased to kill him. I love you. She did actually say these three, these three, yeah, those three words. She told her parents, they took their darkness at me once. Do it again. So, uh, she might have to hurt somebody else to do it. She hurt at Lily. The first time she took the darkness at her. She might have to try it again with another, with somebody else. Turn on the evil. But the only one, the only way to destroy the dark one is to become it. The only way to become it is to stab him. So, yeah. So, everyone, well, thank you for watching this reaction. Don't forget to hit a like button, subscribe, comment down below. And have a good day, good night, good week, good weekend. Stay safe out there, everyone. And if you don't have it already, drink G Fuel. It's good energy drink for you. And I'll see you then. The next one. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching season four.